Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Nikki. Thank you for stopping by. When I started recording this, I did something I never do. I forgot to um, show you guys what paint products I was using and just went straight into putting my paints into the cup. But I did think of it um, at the end of the video. So I'll go over the products with you guys at the end. Um, but here I'm just working on a 16 by 20 canvas and I'm doing a, um, a dirty cup and I'm using this um, measuring cup that I actually stole from the kitchen. <laughs> so um, kitchenware is not safe from paint pours, I can tell you that. But this canvas is a little bit different from what I normally do because I did not use just one milk paint. I actually used two. And um, it was a bit of a last minute decision, um, but I'm glad I did it because it came out so cool. Um, there were so many reactions and effects going on. It was just amazing. So, um, yeah. Sometimes it pays off to um, take a gamble. And sometimes it does not. <laughs> um, and this is just one of the times when it did pay off to, to um, just throw some paint in the cup. And cross your fingers and hope for the best. So, I'm going to do a travel and ring pour. Um, of sorts. It's not a very tightly um, packed ring pour. It's quite loose, um, which I think works best with milk paints because milk paints kind of need that um, space to react and bounce off of each other. So it, it's kind of, you kind of have to adjust your techniques depending on the paint you're using. Um, but I'm looking at the paint that I have on this canvas and um, I'm fairly certain that at this point I do not, oh, do you guys see that? I had this, this is the second type of milk paint that I decided to put on the canvas and I actually had it mixed up. It had been in that bottle for about um, a month and a half, maybe two months. And when I was shaking it, I don't know if it had gotten pressure or something, but it just went across the, the, the room and I was like, okay, yes, let's do this. Um, but I'm glad I picked, I picked this. Um, I wouldn't have normally combined two milk paints, um, but I did and it worked. <laughs> um, so I just, I, I knew that I didn't have enough paint on that canvas and the hazards of not having enough paint is that it gets stretched so thin that any cells um, that may form will get so distorted um, and in paint pouring you kind of pride yourself um, in my experience and for me personally this is personal preference um, you kind of pride yourself on being able to have your cells keep their shape. Um, it just, I think I've said it before, it's just a, an indication of understanding um, the art, understanding the paints that you're working with. And so I knew if I didn't put some more paint on the canvas that my it was just going to be stretched too thin and my cells were going to be very distorted and I didn't want that at all. Um, and I'm glad I chose this color as well. It just added just the right amount of something or another that it needed. Um, and yeah, it was a good choice. These, these colors worked well together. And this piece came out so, so beautifully. Um, I'm very happy with it and it dried beautifully as well so um, no cracks or anything like that so it did very well I'm, I'm very very happy I can't wait to, to put a varnish on it and um, get to hang it up so I'll probably put it in my office but um you can see it went fast it didn't take hardly any time at all to get these paints 
um, flowing over the canvas and um, yeah it's really cool really cool composition so um, I'm waiting for my future self to oh I did I, I normally don't do this normally I will torch before um, I spread the paints but I'm because I didn't have much paint on the canvas I wanted to wait until the end um, and then do some torching to cause cell formation um, just so I could preserve as much of the shape as I could in the event that um, there was still not enough um, paint on the canvas so I normally wouldn't do that but it worked <laughs> all right so <laughs> Here I am. Here's your. Here's the products. This is turquoise. Um, by it was by I'm trying to read Artist Minds, and then I used Portrait Paint by Artist Loft, and then I had the Copper Color by the Craft Smart um, Ultra Brights. I mixed the Anita's uh, Craft Paint with cream with the Milky White, um, and then this is that last color I don't know what I added with it because I had it mixed up um, but that was farmhouse ochre I just had it in that bottle I can't remember what color I mixed it with to like thin it down though but as you can see here this is about 15 to 20 minutes later and the cell reaction is amazing in this um, so it come out so beautiful and it dried just like this Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope you have a great day, night, evening, wherever you are. Bye!